So here's a tiny video about this tiny microphone, the Karmica CVM VS07. They sent it to me for free, so I would make this review. The cool thing about it is, it's plug and play for both 4-pole and 3-pole inputs, which means you can use it with a GoPro, a camera, a smartphone, a tablet, a stabilizer, whatever. As long as it's got a 3.5mm input, this thing will be plug and play. So we're gonna test the difference in audio quality, internal mics versus this one with the GoPro, the camera and the smartphone first, starting with the GoPro. So this is what you're getting from the GoPro Hero 7's internal microphones spoken into from about selfie distance using my regular volume voice. Next up, the Comica. And this is what you're getting from the GoPro Hero 7 using the Comica, once again spoken into from about selfie distance using my regular volume voice. Next test, Sony A6400. This is an example of the internal microphones. I leveled them to selfie distance and once again I'm speaking with my regular volume voice, not trying to speak super clearly or do anything really. So let's see how much of a difference the Comica makes when I hook it up to the 6400. Same distance, same regular volume voice. One thing I immediately noticed, you can turn down the internal pre-gains of the camera quite substantially. For the internal microphones to level correctly from this distance, I had to set the internal pre-gains of the camera to plus 25. With the Cormica, I could set them to plus 10. So we are getting clearer audio. Also, my voice should sound a lot nicer. One other thing, because of its girth, it is thicker than most other of those tiny microphones. It's kind of locked in place between the little door of the 6400 that protects the connectors and itself, so to speak. So it's not going to wiggle as much as other microphones that don't have that girth, which is a pretty good thing because although it's an omnidirectional microphone, you want to talk directly into it. Let's move on to my Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge and see how much of a difference it makes there. So this is the S7 Edge, internal microphones, you know the drill, selfie distance, regular volume voice, Let's hook up the Cormica and see how much of a difference we're getting on the smartphone. Of course, with the standard camera app that I'm using right now, there is no leveling the microphone to selfie distance. So all of this is auto leveling. Still, my voice should sound a lot nicer. And of course, that extra bit in audio quality overall should be noticeable. Next up, wind protection options. Because they can come in quite handy. And obviously with internal microphones, that can be more of a problem than with such tiny external microphones. Here's what you can do. Now the VS07 comes with its own tiny micro foam wind muff, but if you want the best possible wind protection, you will want to opt for a tiny micro dead cat like this. The combination of both, obviously, is best. So let's do an artificial wind noise test with a smartphone. I'm just gonna blow into the microphone. <laughs> That's the artificial wind noise test. So this is the Comica VS07, no wind protection at all. Now let's use the tiny microphone wind muff. And Comica with the microphone wind muff and the tiny micro dead cat in addition to that. Except for the extra kick in overall audio quality and the way your voice sounds, wind protection is the main benefit of using an external microphone. Next up, metal housing for excellent shielding. All right, streaming some Joe Rogan on my phone. This is just to basically pull as much data as possible. This right here is where the antenna sits approximately on my S7 Edge. So the closer I put the antenna to the microphone, the more chances of creating RFID interference I actually have. So I'm going as close as possible. Maybe we're getting something because with a metal housing, it should be shielded really well. All right, basically near perfect shielding. Really, really good. Now, of course, if you're close to an external um, industrial Wi-Fi repeater or something like that, that's a different story. But as far as regular use goes, I don't see any problems at all. You can have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC turned on and even use this as an on-camera monitor. Now, next up, gold-plated capsule and built-in shock mount. Capsule first, 
Sounds really nice, but it's more of a marketing term in recent years because most microphones have a gold-plated capsule, even the tiny ones. So good that it has it. Thumbs up. Now built-in shock mount, I'm skeptical to be honest because with that size, how useful can a shock mount really be? And it being an internal one, how would that even work? So as you could hear, it does pick up handling noise, but with such tight constraints when it comes to the size, it is virtually impossible to build a shock mount that is going to effectively reduce handling noise. That's just too much to ask of such a tiny microphone. So that's it for the Comica CVM CS07. The cool thing about it, it's plug and play across the board of 3.5mm inputs. It'll work with action cameras, cameras, smartphones, tablets, you name it. So it's the perfect little device for budget creators that either are mobile creators altogether or complement their camera or action camera with a mobile device, smartphones, tablets, and such. Because it's not gonna break the bank, with its small form factor, it's not gonna bulk up any setup, not even a GoPro setup. And because you're using an external microphone, you have other options of wind protection. So in a windy situation, you're gonna be far better off using this external microphone solution. So, if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, it's greatly appreciated. Any kind of comment or feedback is welcome, and I'll try to answer as quickly as possible. All the tech that I've used in this video is linked in the description. As always, thank you so much for your time, thank you for watching, and hopefully see you again soon.